What's up, everybody? Today is a beautiful day outside. Look at this, just look at this. Oh my goodness. There is no way we could sit inside on a day like this. It has been crappy and raining for the past oh, four or five days or something like that. And this, this right here, this is, this is what I've been doing. Right there, Zelda. Breath of the Wild. I already beat the game, but it's it's too addicting for its own good. Anyways, we are heading out the dough. I'll talk to y'all outside. And we got about a four mile walk in. That's it, the temperatures drop. I've stole my mom's sweater. She's in there just getting some milk right now. Um, I think today we're gonna do a product review. I got some nice B-roll footage, so let's start back at the apartment. I don't know what is going on with this weather, but it is ridiculous. Ridiculous. I can't take it anymore. It's so deceiving. God, you've probably heard me say that time and time again, but this weather is ridiculous. It's so gorgeous outside. The sun hits you on the balcony and it feels so warm. And then you get out there and the wind hits you. Instead of doing a normal vlog, I guess at this point, I really, really need to catch up on my reviews that I promised everyone I would do. So, may as well go ahead and get that done. Now you may be asking yourself, is this dude gonna do a review from his bedroom? Yes, yes I am. I, I, I have to, there's way too many distractions out there. I've got Zelda going, I'm working right now. I have to keep an ear out for work. So the best place I can do this is from this room. I could probably liven it up a little bit though. How's that? I opened a door and hung a shirt up on it. Does it feel more natural? As you may have already guessed from the title, I'm gonna talk about my Tims. I love these shoes. I can't say enough good things about these shoes and probably not a whole lot of bad. I guess one bad thing I can say about them is that they were made in Vietnam and the things that are currently going on in Vietnam is probably s slave labor or I'm gonna have to look into that. I really hope there's not some poor little Vietnamese person getting paid like two rupees an hour to make these things. These are outstanding quality. I bought these things back in August or September of 2016. So let's widen that angle up a little bit. I've had these things for a little over six months, seven months, something like that. And I have abused the hell out of these things. I have had them on all different types of terrain. I have walked through snow on these things, on ice, on slushy roads. I've kicked these Tims through sand. I have walked through water in these things. The streets of Prague and the pouring rain, water puddles. I stepped in the ocean just for this video. Believe it or not, right after that shot, my foot was completely dry with the exception of one spot right here where the tongue meets the shoe, a little bit of water got in and it got like the top of my foot wet, like right here, so it was just a little spot. And I mean, if that part of your foot gets wet, it's not that big of a deal. It's not gonna like rub or create blisters or calluses or anything like that on your feet. It was just a little tiny spot. If you've been following my vlogs, you've seen me walk on the beaches of Sicily, and these things got wet accidentally in Sicily and Malta. But specifically in this Sicily video, when we walked on the beaches, I showed these shoes get soaking wet from where I accidentally stepped in the water, and they were dry within like 30 seconds. The waterproofing on these things is outstanding. I've climbed mountains and rocky terrains with these things. I have literally walked on just about every type of terrain you could walk on with these shoes. I should also state that I'm very, very rough on my shoes. Like, usually a pair of sneakers, if I'm wearing the sneakers every single day and walking around like playing Pokemon Go or something, I will blow those sneakers out in like three months. Like a tongue, the soles like talking, blah, 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 blah. I wanna say that the style of these shoes, the name started with an O, not Oxford. Something, I don't remember. But they were only 119 US dollars, I believe when I got them on sale. I think they normally retail for like $150 US. Don't quote me on that. Anyways, for all the things that I've done with these shoes and all the hell that I put them through, they have held up extremely well. 
That being said, I have not done everything on these shoes. I didn't walk around the Arctic and I actually didn't have them through the summer. So they may get really hot. I've got it on these like really hot wool socks, like people's merino wool people socks. And I can already tell on days that I'm extremely active while wearing these, my feet get kind of sweaty. So I'm not sure what's gonna happen over the summer. If, if, if my feet are going to be like sweltering in these or not, we're gonna have to find out. Really light too, like you don't really feel them. I mean, they're not as light as like a running shoe, like a running sneaker, but they are still very light. I don't, I mean, just, I mean, just a few ounces. Like they're not, they're not that bad. If you look back at my original packing video, which I'll put a card up here that you can click on to see that, that is everything that was in my bag when I first started my trip. I had another pair of shoes with me. They were Red Wings and those things were like three times heavier than these shoes. So anytime I, most of the time when I traveled through an airport to get around the weight restrictions, I would have to wear those shoes and then pack these big things in my suitcase, which sucked because they took up more space but they're lighter, so they met the weight requirement. So as you can see, I have definitely put some wear and tear on these things. Oh, look at that lens hood. My bad. As you can see, I've definitely put some wear and tear on these things. They aren't without their scuff marks, but I mean, they are holding up well. None of the stitches are coming undone. The glue isn't coming up and separating from the sole of the shoe. Uh, even the shoelaces are holding up. They're not damaged or worn in any way. I'd say the closest to the shoelaces even being worn is right here at the, the metal eyelets where I lace them up the, the initial first eyelet here before you, you know, wrap them around the, the hooks at the top. That has a little bit of like memory in it from where it knows how tight I lace them up. Other than that, even the shoelaces are like super high quality. They're not fraying, they're not kinking, they're not, I mean, it's just, it's a fantastic shoe and it has done me very well so far traveling Europe. They work in a ton of different scenarios and terrains and you know what, when you actually clean them up and get all the rock dust and stuff off them, I've got some cleaner in there for them, they look really nice. They, I mean, even with all the scuff marks, they, they darken up when you clean them. So even, even with the scuff marks, they still look really nice and you can wear them to just about any occasion. Most occasions that you're gonna be traveling with and, and you're gonna wear, want to wear a decent pair of shoes, decent pair of looking shoes. It should probably go without saying that Timberlands did in no way pay me or endorse me to make this video. These are all my own opinions expressed here in video format for you to watch. I don't think Timberlands would care about my little YouTube channel with my 60, 66 subscribers. I love in each and every one of you. Thank you. Well, love is kind of a strong word, but I appreciate you coming by and watching my videos. But uh, yeah, no, no, uh, Timberlands did not endorse this video in any way. That being said, if one of you works at Timberlands and you're watching my video and you want to send me a new pair, I would graciously accept them. Not because I'm making a nice video for you, but because they're great shoes, really. So if I had to do it all over again and pick one pair of shoes to bring with me while I'm traveling and I'm gonna be in a bunch of different scenarios, be that traversing a volcano, in the snow, mm, I mean, they work at the beach, but I mean, you could definitely wanna wear a pair of flip flops. Flip flops. But they do work great in sandy environments. They work great in rock climbing, hiking, dirt, loose dirt, hard gravel, like they're, they're, they're fantastic shoes that fits almost any occasion. I just realized I didn't have the autofocus set properly that entire time. Whatever, if you've came by my channel and you found this video because of my review on the Thames, then thanks for watching. Uh, I don't normally do review videos like this, I just promised it because I started a travel vlog, that's what I'm here for. More like a daily vlog, not necessarily a travel vlog. You know, I just do what I want, but uh, yeah, I don't normally do reviews like this. So if you wanna hang out with me and have some fun, then hit that subscribe button for me. Give that video a like, you know, whatever it is you need to do, but you don't have to take my word for it. Matter of fact, you can watch one of my previous videos about anything other than a product review and, and have a look for yourself. And then you can click the subscribe button because I'm awesome and you love to watch me. Thank you so much for watching. I've gotta to go to work now. I think I'm being summoned. Bye!